Bless and greet their Sherwin House family and friends. Abby and I welcome to this subject, fan the flames. Fan the flames. Mm -hmm. If you got something good going, you need to stir it up. Yes. Our children, yes. our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our church family, our siblings. If there's a good fire there, we ought to stir it up. Here's what I think. We count most in the family of Christian fellowship when we're encouraging and we're fanning the flame to which God has given them. It can be on fire. I saw that in our anniversary service. Let's pray. Father, the awesome, loving, kind God, you are the awesome provider. If there's anything like sin in my heart or this circle or anyone listening, take it out, God. Help us to be thankful for not some of your gifts, but all of your gifts. The small, the large, and in between, God. Help us know you've gifted everyone according to your word. Help me to see and to best use these words and use your gifts in obedience to you. In Jesus' name, help me fan the fire you've given me. Amen. You all, back uh, in the 60s, I went to a place that was called the Tin Top in Crossed, Arkansas. And they illegally sold alcohol. It was a dry county. I wasn't too much looking for the alcohol. I just liked the music. So I slid in there and I was enjoying it. And I looked up and I saw some church people. Wow. And they start ducking for me and move behind the table. <laughs> then one guy came up to me and asked me, don't you know you're not supposed to be here? You don't have enough age to be here. And the thing about it is, then other people kind of looking and standing back. And so there was probably about five people at our church that was in this place. And I'm going, wow, I thought a lot of these people. And some of them, they just sit in the corner. They never said or did anything. But now I see them at this place of party where they're illegally selling alcohol and they're having a good time. And they didn't want me to be there. And I didn't understand it. But somebody explained it to me. One of my classmates explained it to me. And here's the thing that I take from that is that... The people who were there, they made me look at the other people in the church. And the other people were still on fire. They didn't change. And you know what? That was great encouragement for me. So the thing is, I saw something I probably should not have been there to see. But I also saw, on the other hand, how the other people who weren't there, mm -hmm. how they were always working in the church. And there was great encouragement. I saw them encourage me, encourage the other youth in the church. And I just love that I had a good church. It wasn't a perfect church, no. But it was a good church because they fanned the fire, especially with youth. It was always there. And you know what? Looking at the book of Timothy, we find where he was He was doing the same thing with the fire that was in Timothy. Okay? In 2 Timothy, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. He's claiming the fullness of the anchor in Christ. To Timothy, a beloved son, he's adopted him spiritually. And I thank God for those who spiritually adopted me and helped me. He says, grace, mercy, and peace from God. Wow. Great gifts, huh? Okay. And it can only come from God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. All sovereignty named you so many times. And then look at him, how he fans his flame in this letter to him. Knowing that his life is coming to the end in chapter four, he lets him know, I'm not going to make it out of here a lot. OK, that's what he believed. In verse three, he says, I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience as my forefathers did, as without ceasing. I remember you in my prayers night and day. What a blessing. Yes. A mentor remember you praying for you. That means there's some love in there. Greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears. I'm thinking those are the tears when they departed, when they was taking him to jail. And he knew he loved him. And he saw the tears in his eye. It's okay to cry. Men, it's okay to cry. Brother Bob told me the same thing when my mother passed away. It's okay to cry because love was there. He says, that I may be filled with joy. Knowing that you're departing and someone is continuing in the ministry, that's joy. That's what Paul had. OK, he said, when I call to remember the genuine faith that is in you, which to dwell first in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice. He had a generation, generation in there. It's great when the family is a generation of believers and serving God. And then he says, I am persuaded is in you also. So I love that spirit that my mother used to teach and lay it down on top of us. I got that from mom in that area. My dad was more calm about everything except being a man of the house. Okay. 
Therefore, verse six, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. I knew it was in you. I touch you. I want you to use it for God. Listen, verse seven, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. We should be fearful of what we face, but a power and of love. And get this of a sound mind. That's right. Fanning a fire will make it stronger, brighter, hotter, and it can cause the fire to grow bigger. Yes. Paul recaps Timothy's path to become a minister. He reminds Timothy of how his family brought him up in the faith and then how Timothy served faithfully faithfully with Paul in the past. Paul mm -hmm. mentioned Timothy's background in the faith should have given him the courage to stand fast against hard times. He then states that Timothy should use that courage to defend the truth of the gospel message. Paul was stirring up Timothy. He said, Peter said in 2 Peter 1, 3, he said, yes, I think it's right. As long as I am in this tent to stir you up, by reminding you, yes. Paul was reminding Timothy and stirring him up. Timothy was to see that was to see Timothy was to see to it that his spiritual gifts would not grow cold through disuse. He was to stir it up and keep it hot and get keep the flame going. Yes, all believers receive the gift receive the gift of the Holy Spirit at salvation. The Holy Spirit brings other gifts with him, like Paul with his spiritual son Timothy. We also want our biological children and our spiritual children to be using their spiritual gifts and natural talents so that they burn hot and that they are productive. Paul was encouraging Timothy to be the person that he, Paul, knew that he could be. And this was, going, and this was done while Paul was approaching his last days. Want to make the world a better place? Continually remind your children and your grandchildren yes. and children at your church and in your neighborhood, the big and the small of their gifts and how important it is to use them for the glory of God. And as I was working on this devotion, I remember that I had written letters to our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I had written each one of them letters, but I didn't finish them. Love you, grandkids. Yes, they need to be reminded of the gifts that God had blessed them with and be content and happy with their life as they fan the flame of these gifts often. And that was what my letters are all about. And I thank God for those people who were fanning the flame and they didn't tell me. And I figured it out when I was in the military and I went back to him and I asked the pastor, why didn't he tell me? And he says, I did not want to put any pressure on you. I knew it was going to come out at the right time. Thank you, Pastor B.J. Jackson. Here's some takeaways. Christian fathers and mothers are saved to reach their family and the community. Stir it up in your children and you'll be amazed at who they can reach. God-fearing evangelistic families impart so much faith and love and grace in a community. It's unbelievable. Keep on fanning the flame. It's going to produce much fruit. Father, thank you for the flame, Lord Jesus, the fire that you put in us, the gifts you've given us, Lord. Yes. Help us to use them, Lord, for your glory, Lord, so that more are in heaven, Lord, that more are blessed, Lord, and can be a blessing to others, Lord. Help us to bring along our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, Lord, yes. our children, and Lord, even those that are our spiritual children, Father, bless us to be a blessing to the world, I pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.